All right, we have an annular eclipse this Saturday. If you're like, what is that? What is the difference? Uh, well, a total eclipse, remember, where would be the, mo the moon would completely cover the sun. With the annular eclipse, it almost covers it. It's about 84% totality, but you get that ring of fire appearance. So this Saturday, just before noon, that's when it peaks. Now make sure you have, of course, all the proper eyewear, that sort of things. There's a lot of fun parties going around in Houston too, if you want to uh, join. I know the Museum, of, uh, the, the Houston Museum of Natural Science, they're doing a fun party. If you want to join on Saturday, the forecast looks spectacular. I mean, guys, clear skies is the perfect viewing conditions for this annular eclipse. Um, so enjoy, just do it safely out there, of yes. course, when you're looking at the sun. The right gear. All right, yeah. Cheetah, thank you. And now that you know the best spots to see the eclipse, you need to make sure, as Cheetah just mentioned, you do it safely. Yeah, looking at the eclipse could cause some serious damage to your eyes. Meteorologist Pat Cavlin has the protection you'll need to get this week. On Saturday, October 14th, we'll get an off-center view of the Ring of Fire solar eclipse. But don't look up without specialized eye protection. During this annular eclipse, the sun will not be completely blocked by the moon. So you'll need solar viewing glasses, which are not the same as sunglasses. But you don't need to spend money. You can actually make your own pinhole device to safely view this event. We have instructions on how to do that at KHOU.com. All right, we'll have to head over there and check it out. Mm -hmm.